Hey lovelies, so I realize my eyes just look super red, which I don't even know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to try to not talk loud because I noticed that this webcam tends to make me sound like I'm screaming, <laughs> and I, I don't, it just makes it sound like that. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's try to keep this short, of course. Um, I didn't want to bring out my fancy camera or anything for this because I'm just going to talk about what I've been saying for the last couple weeks that I couldn't talk about before because it was family-wise and stuff. Um, I can finally talk about it because it's, um, thank God, it's it's all as settled and everything. It seems like everything's going good. Um, so, basically, what had happened was, um, many, many years ago, when I was, like, two, and I'm 20 now, so that's, what, 18 years, right? <laughs> oh, God. 18 years ago or something like that, um, I got really sick, and I was in Puerto Rico, um, so my mom, we only had enough money, like, my dad only had enough money at that time to send me and my mom back to the States, and we, like, there was no money for my dad to get there with us, and there was no money to, for whatever medicine that I needed also. So, what my dad had to end up doing was selling, he has his, um, gun license. He has it and everything. Um, but, and he had two firearms, I believe. Um, they were small ones. And, he had to sell those to somebody that didn't have a license because he was in a rush and you know he was also young back then and you know like he that was back when they were there in their teens too because my parents are fairly young um they had me really young and everything so you know he obviously <laughs> he didn't know what to do you know it's not like he didn't have really you know well suited to parents at the time to teach him, hey, you shouldn't do that, you know, that's against the law and this and that. So, you know, now, back to the present, <laughs> turns up, you know, my dad started thinking about this, he was like, wow, I wonder whatever happened to that, like, um, you know, what could be the consequences, if anything, because to this day he didn't know, you know, like, things happen. So he actually went to a police station and they were like, look, we have things on you to put two felony charges on you for the two firearms. I guess um, it's a felony to sell it to somebody that doesn't have um, a gun license. So he had to go to Puerto Rico. At this time, we didn't know if the police were going to arrest him over there because we didn't know if the, this person had done anything bad with the guns or anything like that. So he had to go all the way to Puerto Rico, and it was very hectic, and I was freaking out because I thought my I thought my freaking father was gonna go get convicted of two felonies for something that's not like really. <laughs> it just you know uh, I don't even know. Like don't even get me started on the law. It pisses me off. <laughs> but anyways, um, but yeah. So I was going through that and but thank god now um he has it all settled he went over there and he went to the police station he got everything fixed and he'll be coming back on the 30th so yay i get to see my daddy soon i miss him a lot and you know i like my mom and my dad are seriously my heroes like <laughs> i love even when my little brothers like insult them and stuff i get really pissed <laughs> so you know I, I love them, you know, to pieces. So, that's that's going good now. So, yay. And I'm so glad I got to tell you guys. I felt so bad, you know. I just, I really had to keep it on lockdown. My, you know, my dad's a very private person. And, you know, just for the safety of everybody. Just kept it on lockdown. But now I get to tell you. And also, you see, I've been meaning to say a lot. And whenever I come on camera, it just goes, whoosh, it goes, okay, we're just going to leave your mind, Yessie, because, you know, it wasn't important, y you know, whatever. <laughs>
even though it really was. <laughs> but anyways, uh, one thing that I did remember, I actually wrote this in um, our Facebook group. Um, I had written about how, you guys, I really need motivation to get back to the gym. I have, what is today, the 12th? I have almost, you know, a little over, like a couple days over of a month to lose some pounds before my last appointment, which would be the the second psych evaluation that they sprung up on me and all that jazz. And, you know, I want to lose something, even if it's like five pounds. I really, like, I know, uh, I also told this in group two, this is a bit TMI, but I don't know what's going on with my menstrual cycle, guys. <laughs> I've been having it for two weeks now, and it's angering me so bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> um... <laughs> I just laugh because I'm, I don't even know why, I don't know why I'm laughing, I'm so pissed, but I laugh because I'm just like that, I'm pissed and then I laugh and then I smile and it's all good, and, uh. but yeah, um, <laughs> so ever since I got off my Implanon, because the freaking Implanon made me gain 50 pounds in three months, whoa, ridiculous, I know, so I got off that. And ever since I got off that, then my freaking cycle has been nuts. It just leaves one day, and it comes back, and then it's here for two weeks. And then, guys, like, I am so close to ripping all my organs out. I know that sounds really horrible, but you know what I mean. Like, the whole hysterectomy, I believe it's called. I'm so close. Like, you know what? I love kids and everything, but I just, like... I want to respect my body more right now, and it's just hurting so much. So, this is just way too much. And then the cramps, and it's just an ongoing thing, and then I keep on getting back to being anemic because of losing the blood, and it's just, whew. <laughs> uh, I'll see what happens. If after my gastric bypass surgery, if it gets better, okay, great. Then I'll stay with my, all those, you know, yummy organs. <laughs> But if it doesn't get better, I really plan on telling it to scoot because it's just too much. But yeah, wow, seven whatever minutes, too much. <laughs> I'm going to go. Uh, thanks for listening as always. Um, you know, I love the support on here. I'm sorry I can't, like, you know, sometimes I'm able to get to comments, sometimes I'm not. Um, it's just life has been really hectic, and, you know, I'm trying to get in the swing of things again, you know, like, whoo, swimming in the ocean, anyways, <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to get back to it, and, you know, um, also, if anything, uh, actually, I'm gonna make it another video, so, let me cut this one, because it's too long, okay, okay, love you, bye,